Hi, I'm Picky Apricot Steve Andrews, and I'm going to show you how to set up the membership renewal process in Wild Apricot. You can automate the membership renewal process with timed reminders and actions for each membership level. Membership renewal settings can be found under the Renewal Policy tab for each membership level. To access the Renewal Policy tab, hover over the Members menu and select the Levels option. Now, select the level you want to modify. And finally, click the Renewal Policy tab. You can now adjust your Renewal Policy settings as required. The Renewal Period section determines the renewal date of your members. You can choose a renewal period, monthly, quarterly, biannually, or every so many years, and choose a renewal date, either the join date or a specific date like the 1st or 15th of the month. From the New Applications tab, you can control whether membership dues for new members will be prorated, that is, adjusted proportionally according to the actual remaining time before the next renewal date. Alternatively, you could choose to charge the full fee and extend the membership into the next renewal period. To fully automate the renewal process, you can set up recurring payments. With recurring payments, membership dues can be automatically charged on a regular schedule, saving your members the trouble of having to manually renew their membership. You can enable recurring payments only for paid plans and not for renewal periods greater than one year. Before you can enable recurring payments for membership levels, you must configure your payment settings. You cannot enable prorating of membership fees for levels with automatic recurring payments. You can limit renewals to a single renewal period ahead and control when members can renew. If you check the Limit Renewal to One Period Ahead option, then members cannot renew an infinite number of periods into the future. With this option enabled, you can also choose to limit renewals to a certain number of days or months before the membership expires. From the Renewal Policy tab, you can enable a number of renewal reminders and actions. You can enable two email reminders to be sent to members as they approach the renewal date, and another message on the actual date. In each case, you can control whether the email goes to the member, the site administrator, or both. A copy of the email may also be sent to administrators depending on your routing settings. You can customize each reminder message by clicking on the email link. If you want to automatically generate a renewal invoice so that members just need to pay the invoice in order to renew, check the Generate an Email Invoice option under the first renewal reminder. A membership renewal notice and an invoice will be automatically generated and emailed to active members and their membership status will be changed to Pending Renewal. Depending on your routing settings, a copy of the email may also be sent to one or more administrators. If the member clicks the View Invoice Online link within the emailed invoice, they will be able to view and pay the invoice online without logging in. This option is not available for levels with automatic recurring payments. You can also provide for actions to take place if the member hasn't renewed their membership within a certain number of days. At the end of the first period following the renewal date, you can have the member's renewal period automatically changed to never, automatically change their membership level, or send them another reminder message. At the end of the second period following the renewal date, you can have the membership renewal invoice automatically deleted, change the member's status to lapsed, change the renewal period to never, archive the member's contact record, or send another email notice. 
You can also control who receives the renewal pending and renewal confirmed email notifications. The renewal pending email is sent when a renewal invoice has been automatically generated by the system or manually generated by the administrator, or when the member has already started the renewal process but has not completed the payment. The emails can be sent to the member and or the site administrator. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful.